Yeah, we're ready. We're back. The happy, the happy harvesting wagon. The happy harvesting wagon. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I like double letter things. Happy harvesting. <laughs> Can you say that ten times? Happy harvesting. 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 I'm good at tongue twisters. It's Ooh. regular speaking that I'm not good at sometimes. Oh, it's regular speaking. <laughs> My grandfather and I used to do tongue twisters all the time while fishing. There's nothing else to do while you're waiting for a fish. Oh. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, unique New York, linoleum aluminum. That would make sense. <laughs> Other than playing with the worms. <laughs> that was it. All right. That was it. Yeah. Happy harvesting wagon. Oh We're waiting for people to check in. You guys let us know. Let us know who's here. Who's here with us. Yep. And then we'll get started in a few minutes. We've got lots of fun stuff coming up. If you are using your parents' account, then let us know who just you remind are. Us. So I know who uh, who's painting with yeah, us. Yeah, just remind us. I know we know some of you, but not all of you sometimes. Cool. <laughs> oh, Right, so we've been away for about a week. Mm -hmm. A week? Yeah, exactly a week. Because we did our. What did we do last time? We did the. Wait. Oh, no, no, last week trees, wasn't. Trees, right, trees, right. Was the trees. Riley is in. So good. Hi, Riley. You guys, your trees that you sent in look so cute. Really, really they did. Great. You guys are really good. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Yeah, we're just going to wait a few minutes as people yeah. check in. Let okay. us know they're here with us and they're ready to paint. Yep. Oh, you know, I didn't do the mic. You didn't do the mic? So they don't, over. they can't hear us? They can hear us. It's just probably not that great. Oh, oh my Let's goodness. Riley. Yeah, look at this. Hang on. in the corner the sloth oh <laughs> are you happy about the sloth now huh? i'm finally happy that we got something on the board that we can get to for all of our sloth lovers since we had to after move all the disappointment it, move all the, the two things that we've done so, I'm so happy you're happy to get something. something on there you know <laughs> but hopefully next year we can do something else in person and and still kind of appease all of our Real sloth lovers okay. with us, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, after all the trouble you went through, <sighs> yeah. uh, this is nice to yeah. be able to have yeah. something until we can really do a really good one like we originally planned. Don't go. Don't, don't, Rascal don't. says, uh, I don't know, man. Do yep, you he's, hear he's, him, Riley? Yeah, you can hear him. He's already <laughs> objecting. <laughs> You're just gonna have to wait. It's the fall fun oh workshop my time. Goodness, yes. Sorry, Rascal. It's our kiddos' time. Yes, the kids want to paint. The kiddos and we get mom for a them. little while. Just relax. It's a, it'll be fine. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna go over all of our supplies. Okay. I know we probably have. We're we're losing some kids with sports and with school stuff, and we're starting different timing. So. Yeah, Let's, but they get to paint the video when yeah, they get so in Yeah, so that's why we that. save it. That's why we save it. So you guys can go back to it later. So Right, so who's hello here Hello for my girls and boys that are hanging out with us now. That's right. And then hello to all of you that are coming on later. Okay. All right? So <laughs> let's go on to our supply list. So you have your 12 by 12 canvas. We should have sketched our wagon on it. Okay. Okay. I do mine in Sharpie markers so you can see it on the camera. I have our paint. This is again probably way too much paint, but I'm gonna paint something afterwards, so I'm gonna use it, okay? Okay. Red, yellow, blue, black, white, and red. 
Or I'm I sorry, black Emma, paper. I think Emma's here joining us. Hi, Emma. I forgot my white. You forgot your white? Yeah. <laughs> oh. So all of our primaries and brown. Red, yellow, blue, black, white, and brown. Okay, that's all of the colors? There's all of our colors. Okay. We're going to use that half of an inch flat brush today. And probably that maybe medium round brush and certainly usually our where's the little guy and the smaller one that finer detail brush so we're doing the flat brush the medium size round brush yep and the little the tiny, tiny brush, brush for details yep the three usual suspects the three usual sus suspects see uh, I can't do regular speech but uh, give me a tongue twister and I got it okay uh, <laughs> Our cup of water for rinsing and paper towels to dry. Yes. All right, let's start with that flat brush. Flat rinse. brush first. Yep, rinse and dry, give them a bath, dry it off. All right, we're gonna do our background first. So I'm gonna start from the top and work our way to the bottom. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of our blue on our flat brush. Just blue? Yep, just blue. Okay. Okay. We're starting off with our background. Starting off with the background. So I'm gonna do, or you can use, you can either use horizontal brush strokes or you can use those X's if you've done this with me before. So it's up to you. I'm gonna use horizontal brush strokes this time. Abby's here with us. Hi, Abby. Abby, we're just getting started. Yep, we're just getting started. We're using so. the three brushes, the three brushes that we always use, the flat brush, the medium sized round brush yep. and a little teeny brush that we use you to do got the detailing. It. So I'm going to start, I'm starting with that half of an inch flat brush. I'm going to bring that down about an inch, so about two brush widths down okay. with that blue and just kind of bring it all the way across. All right, so you're going to do the edges and, and the sides, but That's you're only right. going down an inch. Yep, about an inch. And remember, my, my painting, painting is not, not going to look, look like, like my painting, painting and, and your painting, painting is not going to look, look like, like my painting. painting. Everybody's is going to look a little different. So it's okay for them to look different. It's okay for you to do something different. Right. So just use horizontal brush strokes. Or if you've painted with us before and you like those X's, you can use those X's. It's up to you. Right. The X's just create some extra texture in your sky. Just blue. Yep. Yeah, Oops. Abby said just blue, just, just blue. blue. If your the top. If your blue is dark, darker than mine, you can grab a little bit of white and lighten it up. If the certainly. blue is a little bit darker than yours? Yep. Here, let me, let me zoom in because... Yeah. Uh, you can zoom. Let's get closer. Yeah, my blue on this one is lighter. Oh. So you can use a little bit of white on it. Okay. If you want to add some white to it. I see what you're saying, I see. So it is, maybe a little lighter. Better. Okay. So I just started with my blue, but yes, if you want to lighten it, you can grab some white and go over with some white. And just keep going back and forth? Yep, we'll just blend it Horizontal on there. strokes? Horizontal brush strokes. Or you can do the X strokes. Or you can do the X's, that's right. All right. Yeah, well, we've had a rainy day it is a rainy day. It's really coming down. <laughs> I got soaking wet. Well, did you change? Yes, yes I you changed. Did. Don't say. Don't say. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Yeah, it's been busy week, busy day. <laughs> it's only Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. But it has been a busy week. Mark filled about a thousand paint cups. Yeah. Probably more than that, actually. <laughs> yeah, I tried. <laughs> then I carried lots of kits. Oh, yeah. And lots of supplies. <laughs> yeah, I guess 5,000 cups was not enough. I need to buy more. <laughs> yeah, more. Abby says, how, how have you been, Mr. Mark and Miss Jennifer? Uh, we've been good and busy. Very busy. Busy, busy, busy. And I'm tired right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think but we're both we tired. Finished, she's going to make more kits. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to carry them. <laughs> and then I'll do back, go back to making more paint cups. While you guys are all snoozing in dreamland. I'm I down here a, putting stuff together. <laughs> yeah, I still got to pin the map. 
Yes, we do. We I mean, we got a bunch of places pinned, a lot of places pinned, but there's still a longer list that I got to finish. We posted today the next meet and greet, the next Zoom meet and greet. Right, that's Tuesday, October 13th at 8 p.m. on Zoom. Once you're done with that blue yes. or blue and white, rinse and dry that brush. Once you're done with the blue, you're going to bring the blue down an inch? About an inch, yep. Rinse and dry. Oh, Abby says, busy here, two friends. Cool. Hi, friends. Yes. Welcome. You're joining Abby to paint with us Cool. Today. Good, good. That's awesome. All right. So after our blue and white, we're rinsing and, rinsing and drying. See, can't use my regular words. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use a corner of white and corner of red. Corner of white. Corner of white and a corner of red yep. now. So we're going to dip corner of our brush in white and a corner of our brush in red. Okay. Okay. So I want to line up that white underneath that blue the start. So the red on the bottom and the white on the top yep. underneath the blue. I'm going to go back and grab a little bit more and do that again just so I get a nice coat of white and red and then we'll just go back and forth with that. But like, you're not going up into the blue. I'm going to go up into the blue. After, oh, but you went down into the red first. I went down into my red and then up into blue. So we're going to go back and forth, up into blue and bring it down up into blue and bring it down. So you're going to mix. We're blending right on canvas. Up into blue and bring it down. And I'm going to grab more white to lighten that up. Now she says, I meant busy here too. Oh. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> yes, the punctuation is, is very important. <laughs> hey, you know. All right, so if we want to lighten up that pink a little bit, you just grab a little bit more white and just brush right over it, back and forth. No, no, don't be sorry, Abby. That's good. You're I said fine. the punctuation is important. You corrected yourself. Yeah, you that did. That was awesome. Good job. Yes, I have to give you credit. <laughs> Absolutely. I read it as I see it. Okay. <laughs> and that's not, you know, that's not a fault or anything. But you corrected it, and I read it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much a literal type person. I'm not good with, uh, like, slang. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much read. I like to read. I'm an actor. I like to read things the way they're written. <laughs> and that's how I read it. So that's why I don't like texting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll read it and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Abby said, this painting is gorgeous. It is beautiful. It's going to be so good when you're all done. Once you're done with your pink or your red and white, you're going to rinse and dry. Flat brush, rinse and dry. And all we're right. going to do yellow and white. So corner of yellow, corner of white. We're going to use that same technique. So I'm going to come right along or even overlap if you want to your pink. With the white on top and the yellow on the bottom? White on top, yellow on bottom. It okay. won't really matter, but that's what I like to do. But you want to mix it? And then we're going to back and forth up into pink and bring it oh, down. Oh, you're going to blend it in. Okay. Yep. Up so you need your pink, blue. And then bring it down. And it's okay if you get some of that other color up there. It's going to turn a little bit of orange. Okay. Back and forth up into well, what pink. About your, what about your wagon? So you're as you get close to your wagon. Yep. So as we get close to our outline or our sketch, we're going to try to avoid going over it. If you do, it's okay. We'll paint over it. Don't worry too much. I'm just trying not to go over the entire thing if we okay. can and avoid it. But if you so. do touch it, it's okay. It's okay. Yep, that's right. So going up and bringing down. Up into pink and bringing down. So we're going to get a little bit of orange in there. Right, see now, um, Riley says, my dad got me a blending game on my iPhone so I could practice blending. It's Ooh, fun. Ooh, a blending <laughs> game? Yeah, on the phone. What? I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah, so they're practicing while... You might have taught me <laughs> something today. Yeah, but they're practicing while, you know, you know while they're we're not, not with painting us. with them. <laughs> I'm going to rinse and dry just to get any of that pink off of there. And then we're just going to continue with the yellow and white. So corner of yellow, corner of white. Corner of yellow and corner of white. You're going to continue on? Yep. How gonna, far down are you going with We're going to go down to where... About where the wagon hitches, or about where the handle ends. Where the handle ends? Yep. So even inside that little circle, 
You can get in there if you want to. We'll bring that yellow all the way down to there. Okay. Okay. So there's a couple of little areas in here that might get tricky to, to paint in. And make sure you grab those edges. All right. Okay, but it's okay. If you happen to go over a little bit of your sketch, don't worry, we can paint over it. It'll dry and we'll just paint over it. Okay. Not bad. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Abby says, how's Aiden? Aiden is doing good. Aiden's probably fixing a vacuum right now. Oh, uh, yeah, he is working on a vacuum. He was oh, just... Oh, Riley said, it's called Blendoku. Blendoku. Okay. Yes, that's, that's, that's Thank on you. the phone. Ooh. You have an iPhone, too, so you can I get I do. I might know what I'm doing after putting kits together tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Grab those edges. Right, so you're coming all the way down to the bottom of the handle. Yep, uh, and then we just kind of make sure that you go across, or if you want to, um, you know, make it flat toward where it lines up with the bottom of the wagon, you can. Okay. Just want to make sure it kind of comes around the same, you know, and Jen can't make straight lines standing on the side, so. And this is the yellow and the white. So this is just yellow and white, so I'm just bringing that all the way across. Now you went up into, when you started your yellow and white, you we went, went up, up and you made a little orange there. Up I into see the it. pink and then brought it down a little bit. So that a little orange. blended some of that pink into the yellow made orange. Give it that harvesty color. That's right. That harvesty color. That's right. That's it. And you can even take some of that light yellow if you want to and lightly blend some of that up into your blue. Oh, really? Just to add a little bit more color up there. I you see you making green there. A little bit of green. You can make your sky really rainbowy, really rainbow like. Awesome. Yeah, Abby's feeling really good. Aww. Says I love art. Aww, us That's too. you know, it's a wonderful thing it when you is. realize it's something that he you really loves. love doing and you're Absolutely. actually doing it. That's great. And when you're Absolutely. young and you will understand this, then you you got the game <laughs> in your hands because you, if you're young and you know you like something, it's as opposed to being young and don't know what you like and you're sitting there trying to figure it out, it's just a, a great thing when you know that you're good at something and you know you like it. Absolutely. When you just like to do it. It's the best feeling. It feels uh, see, good. Abby says, I have a, li a light green in my yellow. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you're fine. So after we're, we get down to, um, we're kind of toward the bottom of our wagon with our yellow and white. Yeah. We're gonna rinse and dry again. Now you can go right to the brown that you have, depending on the type of brown you have. Yeah. Or you can grab maybe a scoop of that brown and maybe a scoop of yellow, just to maybe lighten it up a bit or change the tone of the brown. A scoop of brown and a scoop, scoop of, of yellow. yellow. Yep. Would, would uh, give you a lighter, lighter tone in the brown that you have, unless. Yep. Your brown isn't that dark. Right. If your brown true. isn't that dark, then you can just use that. And then we're just going to use those horizontal brush strokes. And you're going to be careful not to touch your wagon. Yep. So I'm going to line up my brush as close as I can Whoa. to those items and just kind of pull away real carefully. I'm going to um, zoom more. I'm going to zoom in more so they can see you line this up. <laughs> okay. Ow. Grab those edges. Careful. I don't know what I stepped on. <laughs> there we go. I zoom in a little bit more. Okay. So we line up that brush right next to either our wheel or our wagon, and then you kind of pull away. Oh, uh, Abby says, Mrs. Jennifer Katzman, you are my art role model. Uh, there you go. Abby. Abby, don't make her cry. Seriously. Don't make her cry. <laughs> we still, we just got started. Give it. Give a little time. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said something. I shouldn't have said anything. All right. Take it easy. Yeah. Thank you, Abby. Now, you're just going to do these horizontal brush strokes with this I'm gonna brown. I'm going to stick with horizontal. And We're don't gonna fill go in. over your wagon. We're going to try not to go over our wagon. Yep. Try not to go over the wheels of the wagon, but it's getting close. If you do, again, it's okay. It'll dry. We can go over it. That's Don't the good stress. thing about painting, right? Yeah. You paint over something. No mistakes. It's okay. You just let it dry and you can go over we it. We can fix it. It's always fixable. That's, that's always good changeable. Thing. That's the good thing. 
So remember, we're doing this one now, but I think, I don't know if it's next week or the week after, Yeah. we'll do the, um, the tractor. tractor. And the tractor, we're going to do almost the same way. So you could make them connect. You could make the, the pictures connect. I mean, you would just put the tractor on this side, and, and ha we'll make the same type of background and ground okay. so that they look like a set of paintings. Because I'm saying that the, uh, the handle to the wagon is up. Oh, you're thinking that that connects That's to, to, the connect wagon. to the wagon. But you're not saying that. You're saying uh, that the wagon could let's be. Let's see. How could we do that? I'm not sure we could figure that out. That's what I thought you were talking about all along. You oh. got to connect the wagon to the to the to the. You got to connect the wagon to the tractor. See. Okay, I see what you're saying. So that's why I kept saying, well, why is the handle up? Is okay. The handle, you gonna I just meant it? that you could connect the two paintings so that it's kind of like together. But, oh, you could do that too. But you're right. No. So if you want to do that, you can paint over your handle that we've sketched, and ju we'll just do kind of a straight one, okay. kind of coming out this way. Or you can just kind of leave it off of your wagon for this week, Yeah. and next week after we get this one done, yeah. we could paint the, the handle on both so that they do connect. Okay, that's, that's, okay. Okay, that's something we could do for next so, week. Yeah, so you could do either way. You could fill in this handle now, or if you do want to connect the handle to your tractor, like the tractor is pulling it, then paint all of this in, and we'll we'll go back Extended. to that next week. Okay. Yeah, we'll go back to that next week. All right. I think it's next week, right? Next yeah, week, next the tractor? week. Yes, next next okay. uh, <laughs> next fall fun workshop is the tractor, the tractor. October fifth. There you go. At five p.m., we'll be back next week with the tractor. Cool. Now, Abby says, "Have you seen Abominable?" I have. I love Abominable. You did not see it. I have. I mean, you did not see it. Yes, yes, I have. I love it. Oh, okay. We have we have loved that one. We have so many fun things coming up, guys. Oh yeah, gosh. we got to get ready for the holiday season. It's going to be coming up. I <coughs> know it's going to probably get colder, and people will be in the house more. So we'll yeah. have some fun things ready for you guys. We do. I'm I am working on some fun stuff for you guys so i'm working on for both for for winter workshop and for all right now you know I got, i'm zoomed in let me, let oh, me sorry. zoom out so they can see they hear they hear you taking stuff out of packages yeah i hear plastic and packages <laughs> opening up and so one of them will include one of our paintings will include a light set i'm not going to tell you what it's going to be but what for what kind of painting yeah so one of our paintings Whoa. will include the light set that will go on your canvas. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so those are like Christmas lights? Yeah. Oh, so you're going to put Christmas lights on, on the your canvas? On your canvas, yeah. Oh, my God, okay. Oh, man, they blink fast <laughs> or solid. Oh, this is fun. I can't wait to do it. We've got the <laughs> sloth paint party coming up. Oh, uh, yeah, the sloth paint party. Santa Claus, That's it says. That's going to be uh, Sunday, November 8th. Yep. So for the sloth paint party, we have posted the details of that. That's on the Facebook event page as well as on the website. You will have to purchase the kit for that one. That one comes with sloth swag. That comes with the Zoom. To and to visit with a sloth with us. We're going to Zoom with a sloth. Okay. And? That's awesome. Okay. And a kit. And the kit, right. So And the painting kit. So all of your supplies, your canvas, your brushes, so you'll get a good set of brushes, your um, plates, your apron. That's we'll get for November 8th. For November 8th. So you 8th. need to get your orders in. Yes, because it is a limited, it's a limited amount of people for that one. We're going to just do 100 people, and that's it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, see now Abby says, um Yay. I love it too. Have you seen home? Home, 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 home. Why do I home, home, home. I don't know if I've seen home. You don't remember that? I mean it sounds familiar, but I don't remember what it's about. Okay. I don't know home. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I feel like I'm thinking of up with the little boy with the balloons, which oh, I really okay. love to do. Okay. But all right. All right, so you did everything in your background now. The blue. Background is done. So. The red, the yep. pink, the, the yellow with the orange, then the yep. brown. You got it. So our next step, I'm going to switch to that round brush. We're going to rinse and dry. Rinse, dry. And we're going to use the round brush? Yep, we're going to go to the round brush. round brush. Yep, the medium round brush. 
So I'm gonna mix some orange for our pumpkins. So you guys just show, saw what makes orange, right? Yeah. Some red. Some red. And some yellow. And some yellow. And you're gonna mix it. Should you have more than one color or just about equal amounts of each? I start with equal parts of each, but it's probably a little more yellow than red. But it also depends on um, the type of red or, and yellow that you have. Okay. So yeah, so my red, this is pretty dark for brown, or I'm sorry, for orange. That's pretty dark for orange. So pretty you dark for it? orange. So, so let's what you put more yellow? I'm gonna do it. Take a little bit of that and add some yellow. So yep, yeah, there we go. We're okay, getting now there. You're getting the, now you're getting the shade. You and like. we're getting that shade that okay, we so like. Okay, now I gotta move. I gotta mm -hmm. zoom in for that. But I say, what my sign says. What does your sign say? Oh, oh, Aiden did a sign in our in our studio. Yeah, what does the sign say? It says, "Have." Fun painting, <laughs> smiley face, What's love, it? rascal, Mark, Jennifer, <laughs> and me, Aiden, <laughs> on the stairs. That's right. Awesome. And I just organized the cereal for you. Why, thank you. I put them in those bins that you say they don't work good, but they do work good. <laughs> okay, I guess okay. we'll see. All right, orange mixed. So I'm just going to fill in our pumpkins with some orange. Oh, now you're going to do these curved strokes? Yep. So we want to follow the shape of our pumpkin. So sometimes this is a little tricky. So I'm going to kind of do it along the edge of our wagon first. Okay. I'm zoomed in so they can see a little bit better. Good. And then, yep, I'm just going to follow that shape of our pumpkin. Right. The shape of your pumpkin, like a heart. Like a, yeah, uh, it's almost like you're starting curve. a heart shape. Yep. Exactly. Okay, now Abby says it's about the booth. The booth. And up was amazing too. Oh, I don't, yep, I don't know that one. I don't know what the booth is. I don't know the booth either. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's from the movie Home? Home, yep, I don't know that is one. Is Home a movie? I guess so. All right. Filling in our pumpkins. Plenty All of right. Pump, 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 pump. You got three big pumpkins. Yeah, three big pumpkins. We're practicing who's painting with us on Thursday. We're practicing for the big one. Look, you guys are doing this one today. Yep. And the adults are going to do this one on Thursday. Doing the pumpkin patch. <laughs> We're going to put that little wagon right into a pumpkin patch. Okay. And then all the little pumpkins in the, in the ground. Yeah, that's right. It's always good to start our week off yeah. with the kids. We love having Make sure you guys. We paint with you guys. That's true. Yeah, she says it's been my favorite for a few years. Mm, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, you're going to have to. I guess to. I know what I'm watching at 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm packing kids. <laughs> hmm. I, did I don't know watch, how she does it. I did watch at that time. The Nightmare Before Christmas, guys. I don't know. Wasn't it wasn't like my favorite movie. Okay. Wasn't I don't know, just wasn't quite my thing, but it wasn't hocus pocus. It was definitely not hocus pocus. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna rinse and dry once I have my pumpkins filled in. Rinse and dry that medium brush. All right, rinse and dry the brush. And, after um, you finish painting in your pumpkins. Yep. Yeah, and then, then I'm gonna fill in my wagon. So you can always, just like I always say, you can always change the colors. If you want a blue wagon, you paint a blue wagon. I'm gonna make my wagon red. Why is all ragged? Why do most wagons come in red? I don't know. Is that a reason for kinda that? Kind of like the old radio flyer, I guess. It's kind of like the standard. Like the Not original. Not keeping my age, but um, I had a wagon when I was a little boy. Uh huh. That was like the standard thing that little right. boys got when I was a little boy. Yeah, you can be hauling your rocks and things junk. And <laughs> what do we haul as kids? Oh. Uh, Cindy's on. Hi, she Cindy. says hello. Hi. Connor has a ton of homework tonight. Oh, so he's okay. going to have to do this at another time. That's okay. Have a great night. I hope you to paint too, live with you sometime soon. Yeah. Yeah, Cindy, don't worry. Um, a lot of kids got homework tonight. And um, yep. the kids that are here, we're painting with them right now. But we're keeping that in mind that a lot of other kids are going to be doing it at another time. Yeah. So we're right. just making the video and we're making sure that the kids that are with us 
are following along and doing our thing. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll post the video up for you guys. That's right. Abigail says, have a good night, Cindy. Say hi to Connor. Aw. <laughs> All right. So just filling in our wagon with the red. Right. Yeah, I had a little red wagon. A little red wagon. Yep. Ice pool kind and of was stuff. Was it radio flyer? No, it wasn't a radio flyer. <laughs> no. No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. What year was that movie made? Radio flyer? No, the movie with the radio flyer in it. I don't know. I know it's an old movie, but I don't know. <laughs> Older um, than my time, apparently. Cause yeah, I, I don't know. think it was around in my time. I think it wasn't. I don't know how old that movie is. I don't think it was out when I was a little kid. I remember I had a sleigh. Like with the... Yeah, but you, with you the would run and jump on it. And, but uh, I lived in the city. There like with no the metal place. ski things on the bottom of Yes. Line? Yes. So you needed ice for that, though. Yeah. Not there snow. There was no way I could. Yeah, there was no way I could ride that thing. But I remember having one. <laughs> but we lived in the city. Where are we going to do that? We yeah. That place. And it was never like icy like that when we could do it. And if I could, it would have been dangerous. <laughs> so I don't parents. know. Yeah, what the parents. Heck? It's not. It's just slags. <laughs> All right, Abby says, "Can you give me a moment? I'm behind." Yeah, I'm going right ahead. <laughs> You're chatting with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah. Yeah, she heard Aiden. <laughs> and was trying to shout out to Aiden, but Aiden ran back upstairs as mm -hmm. soon as he said what he had to say. Take it easy, dog. Take it easy, boy. Take it easy. Yeah, rascal. It's all right. Take it easy. Mommy's not done yet. She's, she's working. Yeah, so we got the pumpkin patch coming up right after uh, right after this. They're going to be pumpkin doing the pumpkin patch, patch on Thursday yeah, night. Yeah, Thursday. And then Saturday night, Yoda. we're doing Santa Baby Yoda. I'm so excited for that one. At 8 o'clock. I'm excited for that one. I can't wait. That's going to be a good one. I'm interested in seeing how that's going to work out because Baby Yoda doesn't come back to TV till the end of the month. But everybody knows he's coming, so they're all anticipating. Camilla. I saw a clip of him, and he was um he was standing on the front of a boat, and the boat oh. was moving through the water. Oh. Mm. <coughs> oh excuse me. Oh yeah. Yeah, Abby would say it. Don't say the D word. <laughs> Jurassic. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Hi. I don't even think he cares right now. Yeah, I don't think he cares right now. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Well, while you have the red, so while you have that little brush with the red and you're finished with you're finishing up your wagon, from the bottom of each of the pumpkins, I want you to start to kind of bring up some of that red into your pumpkins. Okay. Abby's ready. All right. Good job. So we're just going to lightly blend some red up into the bottom of your pumpkin. So it's kind of like the shadow of the pumpkin. Okay. Different bring shade or darker shade of that orange. Yep. Yeah, let me zoom in so they can see it. So I'm just using a tiny bit of paint at a time, not a lot of paint, and kind of blending it in. Little, little bit of paint at a time. A little paint at a time. Right. I think they can see it now. I've zoomed in. Good. Get that little guy that's hidden back here. Yeah. Kind of getting this little crevice. That's where you're putting the red and the little crevices. Yep. So it's kind of toward the bottom. We're now above each of these pumpkins on the back pumpkin. Okay. Let them see. Easy. 
<laughs> no, it's just funny how our viewers know what Rascal is going to do. <laughs> okay, just don't say the word. Because they see that I wasn't lying when I was talking about this before. What do you guys think about painting Rascal? Want to paint a Rascal dog? Want to paint Rascal? <laughs> we can't get Rascal to sit still for five minutes so people can paint him. Maybe we'll turn him into like a cartoon and we'll paint a Rascal. Yeah, we'll have to take we'll a picture a of rascal. something. You have to paint a picture of him already. Sit. Because he's not going to stay still. Sit. Relax. All right, so they're putting their red on their pumpkins. Yep. Okay. All right. Once we've got some red on there, I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow. So rinse and dry. Rinsing and drying, and I'm going to go to a little bit of yellow. A little bit of yellow. And then we're going to put what the... brush? Still sticking with that medium round brush. Okay. Okay. And then right along the top of our pumpkins, we're going to brush some yellow. Just but you're doing it lightly? Yep, so I'm kind of blending a little bit of that yellow into our orange. Okay. Using that same kind of um, curve, like we're making our hearts. Just kind of making little hearts all over. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's our highlight on our pumpkins. The more you go over it, the more it sort of blends in. And rinse and dry. And just a, just a reminder of everybody that's in our Fall Fun Workshop, next week is on Monday, yep. not Tuesday. Monday, October 5th at 5 p.m. We're going to be doing the tractor. Yay. Okay, but it's Monday, not on Tuesday. Monday right. at 5 p.m. That's because it's a very busy week next week. Because <laughs> that yes. Thursday is the Nightmare Before Christmas painting, October 8th at 8 p.m. And then that Saturday night, right after the Nightmare Before Christmas, you've got Beauty and the Beast. So we're doing Nightmare Before Christmas, and then on Saturday we're doing Beauty and the Beast. And then, three days after that, we're having a meet and greet on Zoom with all of our <laughs> viewers. We're going to ask you a lot of questions. We need feedback on a bunch of things that we can figure yeah. out so we can make We want to meet again plans. with you guys. If we haven't met you yet, we want to meet you guys. We want to make sure you're pinned on our map and we can give you like a gold pin since you're, you know, or you can pick your color pin. Yeah. Uh, since we have lots of colors, I like lots of colors. We're going to, you're going to challenge us on, on our geography live. So far, uh, so good. I'm doing good. <laughs> so far, so good. And then, yeah, we're going to talk about some upcoming events other ideas we're gonna reveal hopefully a new a new fun thing awesome yes all right so we've got our pumpkins in our wagons they're pretty yeah. good yeah. let's go to um, let's make a gray so let's make a gray for for the handle. Our handle if you're gonna do the handle if you're not gonna do the handle and you haven't done so already make sure you cover over with your yellow and white also if they don't want to do the handle and they want to wait till next week so that we do the tractor and then we put the pictures together and connect them. Right. Then they need to paint over the handle. Right. But if they're not, and they want to just have the <laughs> wagon with the handle like it is, yep. now you're going to make gray We're going to make handle. some gray. So a little scoop of white and a touch of black. A little bit of black goes a long way. And then we're going to just carefully fill that in. If you want to do this with your tinier detail brush, if it's easier, you can do that because that brush might be a little bit too big for that area. So just rinse and dry that tiny brush and grab your gray that you mixed. If you have to, use that pencil grip, pinky to stabilize, right? Hold yes. your brush like a pencil, use your pinky to rest your hand on your canvas. Yes. And then you can you have a little bit of control over where that brush goes. Mm -hmm. And then we're just filling in. Filling, filling. Filling in with the gray. Yep, filling in with gray. Are you ready for the holiday season to begin? Um, normally I would say yes, but I we are. Phew, we are normally you'd say yes, but it's not normal yeah. now. Yeah, okay. it's a little. A little crazy. I, we didn't decorate. I didn't decorate anything for fall. I'm not even thinking about decorating for Halloween. I, you know what? <laughs> We're gonna go right to Christmas this year. I think. 
So when are we gonna have our Christmas stuff up in uh two weeks? <laughs> yeah, Jennifer likes the Christmas I stuff. I used to decorate my I used to put up my Christmas tree on November first. On Halloween when I was handing out candy. Yeah. <laughs> said, you know, there's a Christmas tree up in the, in the living room. I'm like, it's not even November. You got a Christmas tree up now? Yeah. I get two months then to enjoy it, all the work that it takes to put it up. And then it doesn't go down until March. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Stop so we it. had that thing up for like six months. Stop it. <laughs> Lights on every night. Come on. Presents under the tree. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know about y'all. But I, I was not used to having a tree up <laughs> right after Halloween. Okay, my family was traditionally, we wouldn't put up a tree until Christmas Eve. Okay. That's a lot of work for one day. Yeah, but it's, no, it's not one day. It's at night. Before we got to go to bed for Santa, <laughs> we'd have to put the tree up. Or we wasn't getting no presents. Okay, that was the whole key. And then as soon as Christmas is over, before New Year's came, the Christmas tree came down. I like to make sure that Santa knows where to come. We're up and ready for him anytime he wants to stop by. Oh, he can stop by before <laughs> Christmas, huh? That's how. That's the thing you have, huh? Okay. Because soon as I soon as I started living with you, next thing I know, Christmas tree was up. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Then New Year's is over, and I was like, Christmas tree still up. <laughs> All right. My birthday came. I was like, wow, Christmas tree still up. My birthday is January thirtieth. Oh my goodness. I could. I, I, hey, I'm used to it now, but it was like, wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, our next color. After our gray, we're going to rinse and dry. I'm going to stick with the little brush that's easier to use for the, some of this, some of these details. So let's mix a little bit of yellow and blue so we make some green for our stems. Okay. Okay, so. You're going to make some yellow? Yep, yeah, so I'm taking a little scoop of yellow. I'm going to take a little swipe of blue. Oh, oh more, more yellow than blue? More yellow than blue. Okay. Yeah, yeah see now, Abby says, funny story. Uh -huh. Little girl asked my dad when Christmas was. And my dad said, two months. And the girl said, okay, I'll go tell my dad Christmas is tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it it's like about like you. For two months. <laughs> yeah, Christmas is tomorrow. All right. So with that green on your little brush, we're just going to press a little stem. It could oh. be a little curved stem for so each. That's what the green is for to make of the our pumpkins. That's what we start with. Okay. And then if you want to add some of those little curly cues, you kind of kind of almost do like little backward sixes or little spirals with your we'll do that tiny slower. Brush. So I'm gonna lightly You're doing twirls. Yep. Lightly make a little spiral with my brush, like I'm making circles and moving it around. So I guess that's something they can practice. I wouldn't think that they know how to do something like that. Yeah, see how you're doing that move? I don't remember you doing that with the kids. Just that really making little sixes like. Making little pigtails. It's like pigtails. Yeah, but did you twist that brush? I'm you just, were just spinning. You were just twirling. I'm, a, I'm almost. It's almost like you're making a circle, but you're moving your brush while you're making the circle. Okay. Yeah. Almost put it in the wrong thing. And then rinse and dry. Yeah. So after they make some swirly, curly cues. Mm hmm Rinsing and drying after that. And then I'm going to go back to my brown to add my outlines for my pumpkins, I think, instead of black. So I'm going to rinse and dry that tiny brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of brown at a time. So you could do it with brown or black, but I think it might look better with brown. So I'm going to start lightly giving my pumpkins a little bit of outline, but then we'll add a couple little curve lines. So they almost look like those parentheses, you know, when you're oh okay when, you're, when you have it a little extra side plot when you're writing. Are you using the tiny brush? I'm using the tiny brush. Yep. Use that. You have to use that pencil grip, pinky to stabilize. 
-hmm. Get some paint on that pinky. I know that's what's gonna happen. I had paint all on my fingers, on my <laughs> wrist, on my arms. And then again, we'll put a couple little parentheses. Some on that side, some on this side. But they look like, let's outline this guy. And I'm doing it in brown instead of the black, but you can do it in whichever color you prefer. You're doing it in brown? Yep. But they could do it in black? Yep, of course. Okay. Let's do a couple of parentheses on this guy. There we go. And if you want to, while you have that brown, if you want to add some hay kind of sticking out from your the sides of your pumpkins with like the brown you're making hay yep you can add like little flicks little flicks with your paintbrush little, uh, strands of hay yep little bits of hay can come right over the side down over your wagon up in front of your pumpkins if you want Abby says Mark what was it like to be an actor it's a lot of fun <laughs> I've been an actor since I was 14 years old. <laughs> I've done a lot of theater. Yeah. Uh, I've done some independent films. In fact, uh, we're working on a documentary on a film that we tried to make and we didn't successfully complete it. So we're not, now we're making a documentary about it. But um, I've done extra work. I've never done nothing like, uh, like be on a TV show or nothing like that only as an extra so you you don't even see me <laughs> but um as an actor it's a lot of fun that's what i like to do it's one of the things i like to do all right so the contents of your wagon look like they're pretty done. much done yep so now we have let's see what can we do next you can do some writing next if you want to do some writing we can fill in, let's fill in our the black and our wheels. So you could do that with either the tiny brush or the medium round brush. Tiny brush or then, medium round yeah, brush. I'm just gonna grab my medium round and we'll fill in those wheels. Yeah, see Abby says, I like drama. I like drama too. Mm -hmm. And I've, most of the drama that I've done, I've performed, has always been on the stage. Especially like when I was in high school, that's where I first well, that wasn't where I first started acting, but that's when I had my first real acting experience was when I was in high school and I got recruited to be in the drama club. I was recruited because mm -hmm. of something that I did when I was in grammar school. And um, and it was a drama and it was very good and I liked it. And then after that, all I wanted to do was act. I liked acting. So I always go out for, for auditions. And I got a lot of jobs working as an actor um, in theater but not in a, not on film. That's what I want to do now. Want to be in a movie? Want to be in a commercial? <laughs> want to make some commercials? Yeah. Want to make my own stuff after we uh, <laughs> set Jennifer up here? All right. So after your wheels are filled in. Mm hmm I'm gonna switch gears again. We're gonna go to that tiny little brush if you're not there already. Okay. Tiny little brush. And I'm gonna start outlining the rest of my wagon. So if you don't wanna outline with the black paint, you can allow it to dry and then you can go back over it with a, a black Sharpie later, okay? Oh, okay. So, so you, you can use a Sharpie instead of your, yep. but so right now you, you're gonna use the paintbrush. I'm gonna use the paintbrush. But if you prefer to, you can always wait until it's dry and then you can use a Sharpie. That's kind of a little trick so you have some nice clean outlines. Sometimes doing the thin outlines is a little bit tricky. So you just have to use real light pressure, just a little bit of paint at a time on your brush. Right. Use that pencil grip, pinky stabilize, and then rinse and dry often and as you dry it, Spin your paintbrush on your paper towel to get it back to a little point. So it's a nice, fine little point. Okay. Okay. Now, Abby says, oh, can we paint a deer, a moose, or a bear? The Upers, people who live in the Upper Peninsula in Michigan, mm -hmm. love those. Guess what I have. Where is he? 
You have it? You Where have is one? he? Where? Abby. Oh. Guess who's coming for the winter workshop? Guess who's coming for the winter workshop? Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, there it is. This is for the winter workshop, but I know that we have lots of adults that want to do a moose, too. Now, I don't so. understand what... I don't understand what she's saying here. She says, we don't live in the mitten. We live in the snowmobile. Different different area? <laughs> I guess. I'm not sure. I mean, I like snowmobiles. I like snowmobiling. I've never heard of youpers. People who live in the Upper Peninsula in Michigan. That's what they call it? Youpers? I think every state has their own little... Thing Name, like that. And stuff. Yeah, like what it. Um, well, that's what's fun about this. That's what's fun about. Yeah, we start learning all the areas. Like um, they say that people from down the shore or near the shore area are called shoobies. I think shoobies? that's. I think that's what it is. Or maybe it's people that live down the shore called people that are not from the shore shoobies. shoobies. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like, never heard none of this slang. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and outline our wagon handle. Okay. While you outlined your wagon. I outlined my wagon. It's a real light pressure, tiny oh. bit of paint on our brush at a time. See? She, she says, so the shape of Lower Michigan is like a mitt. Okay. And then she says the other part, the Upper Michigan, is sort of like a snowmobile. Oh. <laughs> See, I learned something new. We all did. <laughs> it's going to make me go over to the map and go look at Michigan. We'll take you over to the map when we're done. How's that? No, see, they're already, they're already pinned on the map. <laughs> we're going over there right now. Mark's going to check the map out. To look at Michigan. <laughs> Upper Michigan and Lower Michigan. You can get over there. I know. There's about 500 boxes in the way of it right now. Boxes. <laughs> Stuff to put in the boxes. Bubble wrap. Lights. Michigan, please. Michigan. There it is. Okay, I see the mitten. I see the mitten. But I'm trying to find a snowmobile. Oh, oh, oh my God. the top She's one. Right. The top part. Oh, that's cool. She's right. Holy crap! <laughs> it looks like a mitten. It looks like a. Uh, it looks like a left-handed mitten. Okay, and then the, uh, see, I didn't see the top part that's separated yeah. by the water. But that's then you see it up there. So that does look like a snowmobile. Cool. <laughs> wow. All right, Abby, you got us. That was good. <laughs> Girl, you are too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look like a snowmobile. So, after you've got your outlines on there, you can do some writing. Whether you want to write happy harvesting, if you want to write your name on it, your family name on it, you can. And you can do that in your sky or on your wagon. Would well, you want to do that with a brush or you want to do it with a sheet? Either. So that's the thing. You can use a colored Sharpie later. Or you can use your brush and you can write something in your sky. Just be very careful and go careful, go slow. If you prefer, you can grab a pencil first, write oh, it in pencil, yeah. and then go over. Yeah. Right? But you have to make sure your your canvas is dry, right? Um, no, you can actually go right to it. It's okay. Oh, okay. Yep. So now they're going to start writing stuff. You can write whatever you want. That's right. You don't have to write happy harvesting. Nope, you don't. Okay, right, since we live in the Upper Peninsula, sometimes called the Up, we are called Youpers. Youpers, yeah, like you're... Youpers. No, it's Y-O-O-P-E-R-S. Youpers. That's cool. I, I, you know, <laughs> I don't know anything about Michigan, you know? Me either. I mean, I've never been to Michigan. Me either. We know where we're staying when we visit. <laughs> We're why y'all think, think we pin all these places y'all from <laughs> on the map, huh? Definitely want to go on a road trip at some point. But we pinning everybody. We pinning Can Canada. Not really. We got the world map right there alongside the United States map. 
Got pins in there too. I definitely will be down here tomorrow pinning more pins on this map. Pinning more pins on Yeah. I it's know. just such a long list. I got to get everybody. We're trying. And then those people that we're not sure of, they've got to come back and tell us where I they know. are because I have to circle the ones we that I definitely, find. We have a whole um, feed that we have to go through and take a picture and send it because they've posted on that, that feed. So we've got to do that for sure. Right, see, Abby says, our culture is more like Wisconsin than lower Michigan. Yeah, because they're up above the part of Michigan. But I, that's understandable. <laughs> and then after, let's see, we have just a couple more little details left, guys. So okay, after so you changed it. You said happy fall, y'all. Yep. So after your writing. Yeah. And again, you guys take your time. I'm going to add some highlights to my wagon and get those little details on our um, on the wheels. So if you I'm I'm going to leave my wagon open and not write anything on my wagon. Okay. So I want to do a little bit of a um of a highlight on the wagon. I'm going to do that with um, a light yellow. So I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. I'm going to bring some of that on along the edge of the wagon. I don't know if that's kind of like the, the top edge, yeah. the lip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the edge, yes. Yep. So that little tiny rectangular or real long skinny oval shape up there, I'm going to yeah, put some of that that's pretty good. yellow in there. Put a little yellow in there. And then I'm also going to lightly put a couple of lines of yellow. Lightly. In your wagon? Yep, just to give it a little extra color because I'm not going to write anything in it. Okay. So I may put some on there and then maybe see if I can blend it a little. Just kind of brushing over it with a clean, dry brush, that's all. But again, if they want to put their name or their family name in yeah, the side of the wagon, they absolutely. can. Absolutely. They could do it with a Sharpie or they could do it with their brush if they're feeling that's so right. courageous to do it like that. You got it. And then depending on what color your highlights. So I did mine on the original in white. Yeah. I did mine here in yellow. And then I'm gonna just kind of use that highlight, but I'm gonna grab white for those little um, the dots in my tires or my wheels. Almost making it look like a button, I guess. Now, Abby says, are meet and greets for the people in New Jersey? And if, no, 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 we're, we're on for Zoom. for people all over the world. Whoever yeah. joins us to paint, that's what the meet and greet is for. Yeah. It's for everybody. It's just that if you're in a time zone that's not the same as ours, then you have to join earlier <laughs> so that Maybe. you can be part of the meet and greet. Yep, that's all. And that meet and greet is posted on our Facebook page? I just posted it. Yeah, we're going to have you guys try and sign up through the website. So what, it, so what it helps us do is keep track of who's joining us. Yeah. It'll give you the link, but then we're going to do some giveaways. So it's easier for me to contact you just in case somebody doesn't see it live. Okay. It's easier for us to contact you if we happen to pull your name um, by having your emails ready to go, right, from anybody that signed up. Then we can just go, oh, it was Abby. All right, we know how to get to Abby now because we've got the email. Okay. So, um, so what it'll do is, unfortunately, it doesn't allow me to give a free item on, uh, on Facebook. Right. Or no, on the website, it doesn't mm -hmm. allow me to pick a free item. So it's a penny, but then I put a promo code in there so that it's really free. But it's okay. just like, in order to get through the whole rigmarole of get, getting you that link, that's what we had to and do. that's what they have to do, go to the website to get the link so they yes. can join us for the meet and greet. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And that's so what's next? it, guys. Uh, wait, what's wait. Next? You said that's it? That's it. We're yeah. done? Yeah, we're the done. The D word? We're done. All right, let me see where Rascal. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Sorry. He heard the word. He heard the word. We're and done. he's in a waiting position. We're done. He says, you're Mommy, done. you're done? <laughs> let's go, Mommy. Let's go. Let's go, Mommy. Let's go. He says, Come on. What? Let's go upstairs. It's okay. I heard the word. You said done. You said done, mommy. Stop it. He said, You said done, mommy. Don't tease me. 
You're so crazy. You're so crazy. Abby you're says, welcome. thank you. Have a you're great welcome. night. You're welcome. Riley, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Rascal is ready to go. Oh, my goodness. He's done. We've done, Rascal. We're We're done. <laughs> <laughs> that look. We've done that. What? Okay. You, you can have her back. <laughs> All right. Tell mommy she can take the apron off. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Crazy. All right, everybody. Crazy dog. Have a great evening, and we'll see you guys next week if we don't see you before for either the pumpkin or baby Yoda. Yes. Okay. And Nightmare Before Christmas next, next, next week. Thursday. Next week. And we're doing the tractor Monday, October 3rd. That's right. So we'll 5 see you then if we don't see you later this week. Especially you guys who are doing the video. We remembered. You do the video. We'll see you again <laughs> on Monday, October 5th at 5 p.m. That's right. And you can join us on the 8th, Thursday at 8 p.m. for Nightmare Before Christmas. And now Very let's excited. just go because Rascal is going to be beside himself <laughs> if I don't let you go. All right. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Bye, we'll guys. See you next week. See ya. Bye. <laughs>